A couple of months ago, I showed you how to use copy subject to lift a person or object from a photo and use it as an overlay. In this tutorial, we're going to take it to the next level and make a frame of a clip grow to add emphasis to the person or object. Let's begin with the clip in the timeline right down here. Find a spot where um, you want to do the effect and mark it with the M key. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have Amy right near the bottom of the screen, I think. That's a good spot right about there. We'll hit the M key and there is our marker. So position the, position the cursor at the marker and then we're going to export a frame, a still frame, uh, from that specific position. So we're going to do share, save current frame, and we're just going to put it on the desktop. So let's do a save. And then if we move the window over a little bit, there's our still frame right there. So select this and then hit the space bar to uh, bring it up in, uh, in preview. Then right click on the subject and then copy subject. Then we'll get rid of this. Double click on the image to bring up the preview app and then do file new from clipboard. And that's going to give us this perfect picture of Amy completely separated from the background. We're going to save this to the desktop. So save and right to the desktop. There we go. There's Amy all by herself up there. So now we can get rid of both of these. It's crazy that Preview doesn't uh, do a copy subject, just quick look, but hey, that's Apple for you. So now we're going to create a break at the marker, and we can do that with Command-B. That breaks us uh, into two clips right there. Then we're going to bring in the still image as the first layer. And you can, it defaults to four seconds, but you can make this as long or as short as you wish. We're just going to use the default four seconds for now. Okay. And then we're going to bring in the cropped subject as an overlay. So there's our overlay. Why that one is eight seconds, I don't know. But there's our overlay, and we're going to change this from a cutaway to a picture-in-picture. Picture. Let's get rid of this dissolve, make the dissolve zero seconds. Select our clip, and now we can move it down right over the top of that still image so it matches as close as we can possibly get. Might need to play around with this just a little bit to get it right on. There, that looks pretty good right there actually. Now we're going to go to the beginning of the frame here and we're going to set a keyframe. This is the add a new keyframe at the playhead right here. So we'll hit that. So now we've got a keyframe. Now we can go to the very end. And then we will grow Amy to be quite a bit larger to emphasize uh, her presence right there. And that will automatically create a second keyframe. So if we go back and play this now, you'll see there she's growing perfectly and then continues on her way. 
So now just to be a little more creative, let's go ahead and copy and paste uh, those two clips. Go to the beginning of the clip, bring up our overlay editor, and if we delete that, um, if we delete that keyframe, now we can see that Amy is uh, is in place here, uh, it fully grown for the entire um, for the entire clip. If we add a keyframe at the beginning here, and then go to the keyframe at the end, and shrink her down to normal size. Now iMovie will give me a smooth shrink and grow. So if I play this back, she grows and then shrinks back down again. I might want to speed that second one up a little bit uh, and then she continues along. I might want to speed that uh, second one up a little bit just to make it go a little faster as a transition, but uh, you get the idea. So anyway, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and that you'll use the copy subject in creative ways in your iMovie videos. Thanks a lot, and uh, take care.